Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about pointers. So pointers can be declared to be of any data type. You can have pointers that point to doubles, integers, or uh, you can actually have pointers that point to um, objects of classes. But we're going to start simple with just pointers that point to doubles and integers. So when we declare a pointer, like double PTR is declared here, right here, double PTR, what happens is, is we get a pointer called PTR that's ready to point to a double. This is a memory map. But it actually doesn't point anywhere. So it is really of no use to us. So you need to have it point somewhere, or as we will uh, learn soon, you can use the new operator to, uh, to access, to get memory. But at this point, we're just going to have a pointer it's declared to be a double pointer. It can only point to a double, but it doesn't point anywhere at this time. We also have two other pointers. We have P1 and P2. These pointers point to integers, but at this time they also don't point anywhere. So we do not, when you declare a pointer, you do not get allocated any memory. Now let's take a look over here at V1 and V2. V1 and V2 are not pointers, they are actual integers. So when we uh, declare V1 and V2, you actually get allocated memory. So V1 would be allocated somewhere where there's free space in memory, and then V1 will have an address. So this would be the address of V1. And then you have V2, which I'm just going to put uh, here in memory. There's no guarantee that they would be declared and be consecutive in memory. And so this is going to be the address of V2. So when you declare integers or doubles or objects or anything, you actually get allocated memory. When you declare a pointer, you do not get memory allocated. Now you can use the reference operator here, and that is how you get to the address of a variable. So v1 is our integer and v1 is located if you started memory at zero and went down v1 is located at this address right here and v2 is located at this address right here now for us the, the value of the address is not important the address is not an integer it is an address it's a location that points to a certain type of data and it's not important because each time that you execute your program you're going to point to a different location. So let's now take a look at this assignment statement right here. So in this assignment statement right here, we are taking P1, which is a, exists in our program. It is a pointer to a integer, and we are now going to point it, or we're gonna say, say this is address 100, for example. So the address of V1 is 100. So we're, it's just like saying, p1 equals address of v1 or it's the same thing like saying p1 equals address 100 but keep in mind that this is not the right way to do it because 100 is not actually every time that you execute a program your variables will be at a different address so you do not treat the address like a number i am just doing that to give you kind of an idea of what's happening so we're going to take P1, and P1 will then point to this same location in memory. So when we do that, we now have two ways to access this variable. We can access this variable by V1, or we can access this variable by the value at P1. And those are two different ways to access the same variable which right here we don't have any value because we haven't assigned any. I'm just sticking with the picture here. All right, and then we can also, the second sentence here assigns V2, I mean assigns the address of V2, gets assigned to P2, so then P2 is going to point right here in memory, and this will be either V2, or it could also be the value at P2. All right, so let's do another exercise, which I just did the value at, but let's uh, 
do it again. So here we are when we declare V1. So we have V1 right here into V1. We assign a zero here. We have P1. So P1 gets declared. And this right here is the address of V1. And P1 will get declared and will point to the same address. The address of, that's this statement right here, P1 pointer to integer equals the address of V1. So then if you're going to see out onto the screen, you can see out V1. It will print a zero onto the screen. And then uh, we will go to when we have P1, then we also have value at P1. So this statement right here that says value at P1 is 42, we're going to go to P1, dereference the pointer, that's what that's called, dereferencing the pointer, get to the value at P1 and change that to a 42. And so then that will uh, change the value of V1 also to 42. And down here, you can assign one pointer to another. So if I had int p2, so by declaring that, I have another pointer here called p2 that points nowhere. But I can say p2 equals p1, and then p2 will then point to that same location. So now this variable right here is v1, value at p1, and also value at p2. All right, so now we're going to talk about the new operator. So this is a little bit different. So when you declare int pointer to p1, you do not get any memory. So in C++, you can do what's called the new operator, and that will assign memory. So instead of saying P, instead of having to declare another variable for P1 in order to point somewhere in memory, you can say P1 equals new int. And when that happens, you will have your memory map here. P1 will then actually point to a location in memory and you can get to the value by going value at p1 and in this way you do not need to use an additional variable you if you use new you get memory allocated to you and you can always access the value by dereferencing the pointer and going to the value at so this assignment right here says the value at p1 equals 42 all right, the other, uh, the, other the other key that can be used is delete. So new can be used, the new operator can be used to allocate memory. Delete can be used to move um, dynamic memories that were allocated to free up memory. So if you, if you go delete P1, then what that does is it removes P1 and deletes all the access to that. And since there was no uh, variable that, that it uh, pointed to, it also will delete, the, uh, it'll free up that memory and that memory can be used for something else. 